Hey everybody, this is Avarice Paradox, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, and there's Roach's face. So, we just got done killing off some drowners and stealing some new treasure, so let's go ahead and take a look at what new treasure we got. So, we got a bunch of plans of some kind for alchemy. Uh, I wish it would actually highlight the ones that we recently got in, like, like a star format, maybe. Um... This one's new. Um, deal damage to foes and regenerates vitality, which is nice. Uh, this one increases critical hit chance. We actually can make a necrophage oil now. We have enough uh, blowbell. But I still haven't found any of the Arenaria, which I need for the Spectre fight, which we are still going to, we are still working on. Which hopefully, I'll be able to do in this episode. Uh, if I don't find any Arenaria, I might just face roll fight him and see what happens. Or her, I should say. To be more accurate. Because I still have to wait till tomorrow anyway to resummon it. I don't think I can summon it during... Well, maybe I can summon it out of its, out of its normal cycle and it will be weaker. That would kind of make sense, because it comes out at the at noon every day, because the sun is at its at, is at its peak. So maybe if I summon it at night, it'll be weaker, and then I won't have to worry about the wraith oil for now. Because right now, the Arenaria is just not showing itself. I'm basically finding everything but Arenaria. Let's see what else we can see. Uh, now, I saw that at the beginning of the game. Uh, destroy the monster nest with a grape shot or dancing star bomb. I don't have either of those right now. I'll have to come back to that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Before Slower. we head back in the direction of our noon wraith. And then I'll eat up and get ready to fight the noon wraith and hope it doesn't just completely destroy me, which it, it probably will. Let's, let's all be perfectly honest. So if you didn't see in the last episode, um, if you happen to not watch it, my tunic is new. And it's a 5% increase to slashing defense and a four, uh, four points of armor increase, which is okay. Come on now. It's okay. Move it. Looks like we got some bandits. Don't be afeard! Don't be afeard. Hand off with your head. Holy shit, that was half of his body. So, yeah. Using a, a horse in combat is kind of, uh, kind of OP. Holy shit. He's down. I'm happy about that. Now, I don't want to get hit by this guy with the arrow. Holy shit, that was good. And he's dead. So that's three bandits down. Let's go ahead and loot up their bodies. Loot up. Oh, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. Now, I do need to go and break all this stuff down to blacksmith or something at some point soon. I have a lot of weapons and armor, and you do have a inventory system that you have to manage. Uh, there's something here. Yeah. Okay. Some more white flowers that are probably not what I'm looking for, and they are not, which is fine. I mean, at this point, I'm just using this as an excuse to explore and kill people. A lot of white flowers, just none of the ones I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see. So... That was a bandit camp. Uh, I 
wonder if I could head north and find some new stuff, but I'm not sure. Now... Let's see. I might just head back to White Orchard for the moment. Because I just remembered something that I wanted to check on anyway. Now, when we first entered White Orchard, there was, like, a sign that said something about an herbalist. But I never actually checked on that. Oh, I went to the wrong one, I think. Did I go to the wrong one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, it's, it's not that much farther away, but fast travel is fast travel, so. I could probably check that out in the long run as well. Check on the herbalist, see if she's actually open. If not, then I will just have to move on and try and kill the Noon Wraith without the assistance of oils. Is Basically, this is going to work one of two ways. Either she's going to be weaker for not having, being out at noon, or she's going to be stronger. Which, neither situation is something I really feel like experiencing honestly By the sun shine upon you. here here's the sign I saw I think oh she wants honeycombs to mirror the herbalist but it doesn't actually tell me where to mirror is well this is probably not the herbalist if I had to guess To talk to the uh, my dwarven friend. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Well, show me show what me you got. Uh, let's see. This is the crafting. Now, can I? He can repair. Dismantle. That's what I needed to see. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of a lot of these swords that I don't want. Now, is he going to charge me to do this? Yeah, it's like four and three, etc., etc., etc. Yes. It costs me money to do this, though. Which is fine. It gives me back stuff to make items, but... Break all this stuff down. Rusty Nelf Guardian Sword. Alright, that's all I'm going to break down for now, because it's getting expensive. Alright. Uh, I don't need him to craft anything for now. So long. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go sharpen my sword. And I guess since I cannot find this temer temeral chick, I'm assuming it's a chick. I could be wrong. Um, that sucks that I can't find her. Uh, I might head there first. Maybe she just lives outside of town. And then I'll head to uh, deal with our wraith problem. <laughs> and from the shadows approaches Roach. Come on, Roach. Let's go do things. Jump. deal with wolves right now. And that's a lot of wolves. Ooh, honeycombs. I'll need to come back for those bees later. Ooh. Ooh. 
there are ghouls here. Which means I will want to Hey there. Get off my horse. Re-equip Kuhn. Because it's about to run out. And then re-equip Igni. Come on, big boy. Did they just run off? Oh shit, the wolves followed me. And they're fighting the ghouls. So that's kind of good. Ghoul just wrecked the shit out of that wolf. He must have got powered up for killing that wolf. I was not expecting that. One more ghoul in the area. There we go. Fresh meat. And you're on fire. Nope. Oh, things are happening. Area liberated. Populous has returned. Let's gather up all this stuff for alchemy. Wolf liver. Good, good, good. There should be one more corpse over here. Monster brains. time is it? It is 8.15. So, if I rush back to the old village, or the old town, I might be able to figure out, test that theory right quick. Geralt, thanks for everything. Hey, well met. Well met. Nothing left but to pray. Beg evil spares us at least. Ooh, bees. Give me the bees. Oh, I can't take it. At least not right now. Maybe I have to do something. Yeah, I think I have to set it on fire. See if I can do that. There we go. Honeycombs. Ooh. What's over here? Got a lump of bread today. Good for you. I'm going to see what this herb is. Nothing useful. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. There's more bees. I want to get those bees. Probably need to be on that other shack, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and head back to our main objective, which means I should probably take this sign and shortcut my way back to the old the old town. All right, Roach. 
Ooh, there's a ex there's a quest over there now. Probably for that honeycomb. So maybe, maybe I go there first, and then That's I go fight approach. our new wraith friend with power oil, with all the wraith powers. He came to a stop quick. Weehaw! Not gonna worry about the deer now. We we've proven that uh, I'm not really good at killing the deer right now. Slow now. Another abandoned village. Come on. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Well, you know what? Son of a bitch. I really want to check on that first. I did mark it and I yeah, okay. Move it! I have time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop down and talk to this sign. And go north. I mean, either way, I, f I figure out my theory. I mean, if I show up later than noon, maybe he'll also, or she'll also be weak. So, it all works out in the end. God damn it, Roach. What were you doing in the water? Give me your soul. Okay. So, making sure I don't sidetrack myself again. I'm going to mark that area this time. Hey ya! Hi ya! Goose! Our geese is. Go, go! Onward! Come on. Huh. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty. This hut, that is. Till the night afore the battle, a man arrived. Walked right in like to his own. Standing at the window, peering at the goings on. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Then what happened? Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn. Only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or a pan? I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any wood. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Fine. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Time to blow down another door.
dark scale plate, horns, rotting flesh, that's not good. Uh, is there anything else in here? Oh, there it is. Okay. A corpse explains the stench. Yeah, it does. Go ahead and turn that on. Ooh, honeycomb. Ah, Must be a priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. Documents, almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. I wonder what that says then. Let's see. Burn documents, burn documents. Uh, doesn't look like, like it actually lists the documents. Oh, here they are. Um, read. And when you arranged to meet, you fucking show up. I did, I did, <laughs> I did, risking my life and the entire blasted operation, and ended up standing there with my, <laughs> with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nelfgardian army was better organized than that, but you, blah blah blah, tell that blessed Lord General of yours that he, that, that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations, but since our old plan's gone tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. So it sounds like he's working with some kind of military unit, or at least uh, the person that was writing the letters. His throat, he was garroted, and some old scars, kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? I love the fact that that's all she's thinking about is the pan, not even the fact that there's a dead body in here. Makes one think she might know more than she's letting on. Alright, let's get rid of the fucking pan. Ooh, stuff to steal. There's something in the water, too. Sorry, lady. Treasure calls. stuff out here. wonder if any of it's useful. Holy shit. A lot of stuff, in fact. Ooh, that's a fish. What is that? No, I don't want that. I don't know why that popped up. I thought I turned off the home screen commands, but oh well. Wrecking PlayStation. I thought I saw a chest down there, but I guess not. Oh well, let's give this freaking lady her stuff back. I hope my horse doesn't drown itself. Alright. Wading through the water like a dum dum. Come on, come on, come on. I got things to do. Here, your frying pan. Mine? The mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! 
You've earned a token of thanks. No, nice old lady. Well, try up a nice white fish for. That or wasn't quite pie. what I thought it was going to be, but it was at least something, and I got money out of it, so... Come on, Roach, get out of the water. Ooh, she gave me some baked apples. Alright, let's go fight ourselves a wraith. Which means... I need... to highlight... this. Because for some reason my quest reset. Butcher contracts. There we go. It looks like a storm's rolling through. Now that's the funny thing is the the weather changes quickly, but I've actually haven't seen it rain yet. It just looks really, really dark most of the time. Look at the wind, the way it affects the trees. It's just really nice. Whoa there, Roach. Oh, jeez. Now she's probably going to be immune to fire, I'm guessing. I've got to be careful. Shit, now I have Kuhn equipped. And she's running for some reason. Why are you attacking my horse, bitch? Taking any damage. Oh, I have to light a fire to destroy the noon range. Maybe I do need it. Well, Roach is at least doing a good job of freaking distracting her. Maybe I have to set her body on fire. Oh. Okay. Maybe I didn't have to fight her at all. And the bracelet. Igni. She hits for a lot. Oh, I still had that equipped. Holy crap, she takes no damage. Come on. I 
I might actually end up dying here. If I'm not careful. Shit, shit. Eat some more bread, drink some more water. That was a fun fight. Uh, guess I better go and get my reward now. Yeah, that was, uh, probably would have been made a whole lot easier with the, with the specter oil. 